What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your host, Avery, here, and welcome to the pre-YCS Hartford Market Watch. Now, I am doing this kind of late at night. It's like almost midnight, so I apologize if I'm not as rambunctious and crazy as I usually am. Also, before we get into today's video, I want to just say I am a huge, huge idiot. I accidentally had the title in my JCD response video wrong. I had it like JDC. And I'm an idiot, apparently, who can't read and I can't type on a keyboard. So I am an idiot. I am sorry. Have I also mentioned I'm an idiot who talks to an ultra ball and a big ass fucking banana? So I do apologize about that into JCD as well. And I knew I was going to get some hate on that video, even though I specifically said at the end of the video, I'm not looking to hate on the guy. But bygones be bygones, ultra balls be great balls. And we can all be aroused together as you destroy that subscribe button because we're talking about the market before YCS Hartford and as someone who really despises Salamangre and who just whooped its fucking ass on EDO Pro right before I started this video through playtesting, I hope Salad doesn't top. No offense to the Salad players, I just, I hate how the deck inherently functions. There's just some decks in Yu-Gi-Oh that do that to me. Atlanteans is one of them. We're actually going to probably look at them later if we have time. But anyway, let's go ahead and dive into the market. So Dark Arm Dragon Ghost Rares, did you know that these things are 59 fucking dollars? So, light play first at mod play. What did you do? No limit gaming. Did you, like, eat your dark arm? Like, did did someone just chew on it? <laughs> like, I get the quality control isn't the best, but, like, how is it a mod play, bro? All jokes aside, no limit gaming is actually a really good store to shop from. Um, light play first, you're looking at basically $55. Uh, $3 shipping. Uh, why? Um, no limit gaming has a near mint one here for $59. You have a mod play one here. What what did you do? <laughs> anyway, all jokes aside, 59s, 59s, and then you're looking at 60 and then verified 6095. If you want to get in on dark arms, like last time we looked at these, these are like 61, 62 to 65. Uh, get in on these like five minutes ago. If you want that nostalgia, if you want that ghost rare, beautiful looking dark arm, now's a good time to get on it. Ghost from the past as a whole, uh, Dark Magician Girls at 325s, Blue Eyes is 185s. Uh, ball sacks are 55s. That's actually really good. Cyber Dragons are only $85. The Alu Bars continue to dip. I'm actually pretty fucking pissed about this. I bought mines at like just under 15. They're like $14.98, $99 a piece. These are now at the $10 line. Like these are just, they're continuing to go down. Near Mint First Edition right now, you can get for $10.20. Uh, nine twenty one with ninety nine cent shipping. One sale. Nine twenty one. Uh, Verified is gonna run you at ten seventy five. But these things, they've dropped below the fifteen dollar mark. So, right now you can get in for ten bucks near mint. I mean, now is a really beautiful time to get in. Uh, let's take a little quick detour here. Dawn of Majesty. So obviously the branded stuff's gonna be expensive. Stardusts are over seven five hundred. Dawn of Majesty boxes are at sixty seven. Messiah Starlights are 60s. Uh, regular Alu Bars are about 30s. Branded Openings are 24s. Okay. Uh, Quertuses are 19s. Ready Fusions are at 23. What the fuck? Um, that's really it. Uh, Leo Geths are 92s. Uh, that That's cute. Iris Sword Souls are at 8s. Dramaturgies are dollars. Really the only thing that's money in the set. Even Proskinians are under dollars now. Uh, really the only money thing in this set now is Branded Opening. Um, yeah. <laughs> This, this used to be a money set. A Dimension Force. Uh, let's see. Ghost Bells are under the 300 mark, actually. Regulases are 285. Lenatuses, 160s. Uh, regular King Reguluses are 80s. So when I looked at the market earlier, Ultra Rare Star Frost got bought out. I don't know what the fuck someone's trying to pull, but uh, you can get one here now for $40. The Ultra Rares got bought the fuck out, and someone listed one at 40 I don't know why. Like, I get that it's the premiere card like the sneak peek card um so it's harder to get i guess in that regard pull rate wise meanwhile the secret rares are over here at like seven dollars and one could argue that the secret rare is better than the ultra uh that feedback though uh what the fuck 97.8 <laughs> so we're just gonna say that it's eight dollars uh well that's 98.9 that's not much better verified 7.95 so there you go yeah you're looking at eight bucks for secret rare star frost so I don't know why you'd go for the Ultra, but you do you, Sugar Boo Boo. I'm not going to judge you. I'm just out here looking at the market. Um, booster boxes are 65s. Boreas are 29s. Regulus's are close to 80. Alvises are under the $20 mark. Uh, Frenzies are 8s. 
Libromancer Fire 8s, Illegal Knights are at 5s. Get these while you can. Endless Archeos are 2s. Get your playset of Illegal Knights. You have re no reason not to. The Coliseums are 14s because, of course, they are. Here is something. I, if you haven't bought yours yet, you need to buy yours now. Um, Psychic and Punishers. These things were 8s on pre-sale. You're looking at $18 now. That feedback, though, $18. Um, $13.98, $5 shipping. You're looking at lowest verified is $18.97. They're creeping up to the $20 mark. If you haven't gotten your set yet, even though you only really need one, um, you, you want to get this. There was one punk deck that topped with this card, and this card is fucking bananas. And it the punk deck can make level 11s like it's nobody's business. Get this card just to have it. I pulled it out of uh, my box, and I had no regrets. Uh, and I pulled it back when it was like a $5 card. So if you have this, hold on to it because it can only go up higher. It, it's it literally unaffected once your life points are less than the opponent. So you play out one punk card and pay 600 life points and this card's unaffected. It is basically a Raid Wrapper Ultimate Falcon with 3,500 attack. And you can pay 1,000 life points, target a monster you control, one card your opponent controls, banish them. Any card that the opponent controls you can banish. I think you have no reason not to be sitting on this card. Uh, structure deck, Albast Strikes, Extraves are twos, Brand of Fusion twos, Rulers, dollars, Veilers and Ogres, dollars, Mirror Jades, 55 cents, Kits are 20 cents, TC Woo, 16 cents, so much Penny Stonk. The Structure decks as a whole are at 13s, like, such a good Structure deck, man, so many good reprints, oh, it's, it's beautiful. Grand Creators, so... The Water Enchantress uh, Collector's Rares are 140. Rite of Air Mises are 119. Regular Air Mises are 45s and Water Enchantresses are 40s. I mean, yeah, the more co the more copies that are out there in the market, the more players that have this engine, the more it's going to go down. I'm really happy about this one. I remember when I pulled this Collector Rare and it was like fucking $5. They're going to the moon and to the stars, boys. This is up to $35. And you're slowly creeping up to 40. Um, yeah, this is played in, in the Punk deck. And it's the Collector's Rare. It's really damn good. Uh, the, I think the regular Ultra isn't that expensive. But if you want the Collector Rare, it's it's going up to 40. And uh, I'm glad it's going up because my one copy is going up. Uh, also, Zextrites are like, what, 13s? That's the other Collector Rare that I have. Faithful Adventures are 33s. That's adorable. Uh, yeah, Zextrites, <laughs> they're up to 15s. Uh, if you want this collector rare stuff, you should have gotten it earlier. You're, you can still get in on it now if you want, but you need to get your stuff like five minutes ago, y'all. Like, real talk. Um, change of hearts. <sighs> Jesus, are we still doing this? 62s. Uh, let's look at the Metal Raiders. I feel like the Metal Raider, just the, the Ultra looks better than the Secret, in my humble opinion. You're looking at 40 for Unlim. What the fuck? Uh... Show me the first deads. Get the fuck out of here with unlimbs. <laughs> I'm sorry I asked. 426. PSA 6. Jesus. Like, what? Actually, that looks really good. That's not near mint. Not in the slightest, but, I mean, look at the top right there. This this looks really good, though. Like, as an ultra, looks real good. But that that's not near mint. I don't I don't know what PSA was on, but that, that ain't no fucking near mint. Also, did you know that 10,000 dragons are still going to the moon? Look at this chart here. So you're looking at 14, 1,400, 1,400, 1,422, and now we're just kind of holding the line. A light play got bought today, actually, at 1,200 on the dot. I hope that man didn't have Vistar. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, or maybe that's why he bought it, because Vistar wouldn't be like, what the fuck? You're looking at 1,400 for light play first, and uh, basically, like, what? Four, what is that? 1,425? $5 shipping? Uh, near mint and then near mint fifteen hundred on the dot lowest verified and they cap out actually at ten thousand dollars for a PSA nine. Jesus Christ, ten thousand dragon! I swear. Also, number thirty nine Utopia Astro rares, uh, four twenty fours. They're down to four oh twos. Uh, someone bought one for nine ninety five. That's probably a Korean version. Ah, uh, you lost out, my guy. Uh, yeah, no, it's probably a Japanese one. Someone just said fuck it. Yeah. And someone just did that. And then someone's charged at 125. Konami, get this OCG shit off of here. What the fuck? Uh, so near mint, you're looking at 355. Honestly, that's not bad. Considering that they're kind of going back up to 379. What do these things cap out at? 
<laughs> they cap out at almost $1,800. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, if you want an Astral Utopia, get it now. Um, also, last but not least, Brothers of Legend. Oh, Dragoons are just under the 400 mark. Droplets, 87s. Boxes are still 80s. What the fuck? Uh, Nibiru's, 12s. Souls are 43s. Those have really held. Leviathans, speaking of Astro Rares, I really want to pull the trigger on this. So Heavy Play, a collector store, you need to quit having your employees sitting on cards. <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Some people think I'm so serious. Like, this is my persona. This is my persona on YouTube. Just relax. I'm, I'm just having some fun. $70 and then $70.25 for Lowest Verified. If you want to get in on the Astral Market, because mark my words, the Battles of Legend Crystal Revenge that Konami has on their website, I am willing to bet that you will have an Astral Rare in that set. If history is meant to repeat itself, we will have another Exceed Astral Rare. So if you want to get in on it, I would say spending $450 to have a Leviathan Dragon and a Utopia doesn't suck. And whenever you get more Utopia support, you know that Utopia is going to go up. And if for whatever reason Leviathan Dragon suddenly becomes playable, then congratulations, you have your Astral Rare. Just remember that you need to have your uh, translations if you're going to play this card, because with my luck, I'm going to get the one Dick Eater at an event that's going to be like, do you have, an, do you have a translation? Uh, no. Judge, I can't read what the fuck this card does. <laughs> so, anyways, guys, please let me know what you think in the market. Uh, I just kind of wanted to give a snapshot here of what the meta is really kind of looking like uh, going into uh, this YCS. Also, really quick... Uh, we can't spell. I meant to put salad, but I'm I'm a fucking tool. Uh, Salamangrate, Blaze, Dragon. I actually just want regular salad cards. I don't want dog shit. Thanks. Um, Control V. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Seventy five for the Starlight Pyro Phoenixes. Three dollars for the Foxy Loxies. Three dollars on Circles. Dollars on Rage and Roars. Basically, Spinnies are twos. Regular Rages the fuck oh it's the ots pack 12 supers threes on bay Lynx, dollar on the jack jaguar uh dollars on will uh, 11 cents on the super rare that that's that's cute um i know i said i was going to give a snapshot to atlanteans so let's just do that uh atlantean dragoons is fucking a hundred dollars it's probably from like a damaged one i've always hated atlanteans i just i never liked how the deck function anyways guys thank you so much for watching let me know what you think down in the comments below about the market are you going to ycs hartford are you excited for the event let me know all that more down in the comments thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video